Mike, the gyrocopter that crashed into a Sebring mobile home, killing two people on board, was filled with fuel right before it took off. News Channel 8's Corey Davis is reporting from Highlands County tonight, where people are remembering the two men killed. We want to give you a look at the damage that's left behind after that gyrocopter crashed into a mobile home. You can see all the debris there. Right now, investigators are trying to figure out what happened. A tower of smoke and flames shooting into the air Tuesday afternoon in the Sebring Falls Retirement Subdivision. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Pilot Chris Lord heard over the air traffic radio calling for help just before crashing with his friend, Dr. Christopher Bruger, on board. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We're told Lord had just taken off from the Sebring Regional Airport. Zach Easton, the manager there, says he was good friends with Lord and was in disbelief when that distress call came in. It can't be real. <laughs> it, this can't be Chris. I mean, there, there's got to be something broken on that gyrocopter that does, isn't allowing him to fly it because, I mean, he is skilled at at that. Easton says Lord knew what he was doing in the air and trained people across the country how to fly gyrocopters like these seen on his website. If you had a need, he was there to help meet that need. Um, he just, he cared about people. An investigator with the NTSB tells us that they have a long road ahead in figuring out exactly what happened. In Sebring, Corey Davis, News Channel 8.